What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so, let's see, uh, I think we're in an uh, episode where I'm actually recording in another day. So, uh, happy birthday to me, probably, I don't know, whenever this video comes out, but yes, happy birthday to me. Thank you guys for all the wishes, the impending wishes and all that stuff. And on top of that, I hope you guys enjoyed the little marathon I had for you with the other three walkthroughs that I had in mind right here. So, off screen, I did a little bit. Nah, I'm just playing a lot. I did a lot, guys. Um, let's go right ahead and take a look at our boxes right here because, yes, we, yeah, we, we've been working a little bit. So, as you can see, guys, we got a quite, quite a few Pokemon, like Gaia... In Gaia number two, we may or may not have gotten them in another version, Pokemon Shield version. But as you can see right here, we got ourselves a quite quite a few Pokemon that we've had in the past right here, such as you know Quackor the Fowl, Drago, and on top of that, the two and uh, the two starter Pokemon of this region, Optimus and Deadshot. Now, something big right here too is. Yes, I got myself a Pokemon egg, and this egg right here will contain the Pokemon that I want to replace one of these guys with. So, what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to switch out Shadow Blade for the time being for this egg. I'm not going to reveal to you guys what the egg is going to be. We're just going to have to walk it out and all that crud. I mean, I could just bring in, uh, let's see... I could just bring in one of my Pokemon right here who has, uh, what was it, Fire Body or something like that, just to hatch this Pokemon early, but I kind of want to make this a surprise. Trust me, guys, it took me a lot, and I mean a lot, to try and find this Pokemon, but let's go right ahead and take a look at the other Pokemon we found right here. As you can see, lots of Pokemon, so little time, and I did trade for some uh, just for, uh, you know, yeah, just, for the, just for the fun being, and yeah, Pennywise needs to go into this other box right here. But anywho, guys, yes, we've been doing work, and now it is finally time for us to go into the wild area. And yes, we are on egg alert right here. Um, what is going to happen right here in this episode is we're going to go through the wild area. We're not really going to be battling a lot of the um, a lot of the wild Pokemon right there. We're just going to show bits and bobs and all that crud, and uh, from there, hopefully, hatch the egg in this episode. Hopefully, maybe I don't know. Uh, Something about playing this game, I mean, this and Pokemon Shield, is that you get to learn a lot. Uh, I actually did watch a few episodes or videos of uh, things I wish I would have learned or would have known before playing this game. And trust me, guys, uh, you, you get educated every single time you restart this game. And you know what? It maybe isn't, like, it probably isn't a bad idea that I've actually restarted this game just so I can play it. Um... Another thing too, yes, I did capture some Pokemon from uh, from these wild uh, these wild spots right here. Got a little bit of, uh, a little bit more extra, well, uh, rare candies right here. Hold on, let me see. let me take a look at how many candies do we have. So now we're able to get medium size and large uh, rare candies, which will serve us uh, well. And as you can see, we got 34 rare candies. This is starting to look like a Game Shark thing right here. Now, um, something I'm trying to do with the rare candies is to evolve specific Pokemon and showcase them on another channel, my House of Draven channel, which I haven't even touched yet, but yeah, we'll get there eventually. Um, but yeah, here we go, guys. We're going to be going into the next portion of the wild area. Right here, you're going to be finding a lot more and interesting stuff, like a Snorlax right here. Um, you're, still at, you're still at a point where some of these Pokemon are still going to be a little stronger than than usual and all that crud so just be aware of that um, since we have won three badges guys um, I think we are able to get capture Pokemon up to level 40 probably I don't know I could be wrong or something like that I don't know so let's go ahead and do this again and yes we're gonna get attacked by one of these little Pokemon right here Squobits and you know me I'm just gonna yeah I'm just gonna run away from here because it is hailing and I don't want to mess with this and yes, uh, actually getting attacked by one of these Pokemon will take half your your berries away. And actually, it took all my berries. So, yeah, we need to get the heck out of here. So, let's see. It's my birthday. Uh, well, depending on how the birthday is or when I post this up. Yes, I have started a little marathon right here for all these games. And if you guys are brand new, yes, welcome to my channel. Uh, 
you know, welcome to the channel. Uh, welcome to the marathon, the birthday marathon right here. Um, if you guys want to know how old I am, well, good old Draven's at level 32 right now. Level 32, meaning a, he's 32 years old. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, many people are telling me that, like, well, some people are just telling me that, like, hey, don't you think you're a little too old to be playing these games or something like that? And for me, it's like, nah, not really, because everybody's got to have a hobby. Everybody does have a hobby, and right here, holy crud. Hold on. Yes, we have found ourselves Sneasel, and I think I already captured these guys in a, in a wild spot. Hmm, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, so let's just go ahead and run away. We don't need any of this mess right here. Um, so, what I was saying, guys, uh, yeah, we all need our hobbies right here, and, uh, well, thankfully me, it, you know, Pokemon, Pokemon walkthroughs are, are, are part of the, the, the hobbies and all that stuff, and it has gone well as of lately and all that crud since, you know, the pandemic. Um, you guys have already heard the story about... You guys have already heard the story about um, what came to be with this whole decision of coming out with these marathons. And yeah, um, so yes, July is going to be an easy month for me since I don't really have a lot of football. So that means it's going to be a lot of uh, videos being stocked up right here onto my channel. Um, crap baskets. One of the biggest things is Pokemon Heart Gold. Now, many of you guys actually thought that that game was over and done with. I actually thought that too. And then, uh, well, you know, hold on, let's see. Oh, they took all my berries, you a-holes! Okay, just one berry. Uh, yeah, I thought that this walkthrough was uh, over and done with until I realized that, you know, I still had these, I still had footage from, from Heart Gold and Soul Silver and all that crud, and I do not want to run into that Pokemon. Uh, and, you know... I, I guess you could say that, you know, it revitalized a little bit of something like, you know, unfinished business. We can't really have that on my channel right here, so I might as well just finish it off while while it's still there. And a lot of you guys have been requesting it, and uh, like I said in the f in the last episode, the post the postcon video, yes, I am actually cur like I'm currently working on uh, on Heart Gold. I'm playing the game, and I'm going back to where it all ended. Um, I seem okay. So one of two things probably happened right here. Okay, I may or may not have actually, uh, I may or may not have uh, accidentally deleted the 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 episodes, the extra episodes that I had for Heart Gold. Probably out of uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, she wants to battle me. Let's go ahead and battle while while I continue talking right here. So like I said, um, I probably deleted those episodes because I thought that you know I wasn't gonna go back to Heart Gold, but I found. I found eight episodes, and, you know, from there, it's just, you know, from there, it got revitalized to the point where, yes, I am going to be playing this game and getting myself back to where I was. That way, I can do some, uh, some, uh, not post-comp, but, you know, live comp stuff uh, for you guys right here, and holy crap, we are still not that strong, so we need to switch up right here. Uh, Michelangelo, and I need to know what... What my Pokemon egg is, I, I I want I want to show you guys real quick right here, but here we go, Michelangelo looking beastly. So yeah, guys, um, <laughs> it's going to be a hassle, um, and but thankfully, and again, I'm gonna brag about it, but I do have a gaming computer. Yeah, so it's a lot easier now, and it's not, it, it really isn't a my it, well, it really isn't so much of a job for me now. It's just I'm enjoying playing the game again, and. Uh, Thankfully, we have the speed button, so it makes it a whole lot quicker just to get me to where I need to be and all that stuff. Granted, there's going to be some stuff that I'm going to be missing out on, things that I don't remember and all that crud. But we will get to the we will get to the last point where we got, and then we will finish up Pokemon Heart Gold right here onto my channel. And the rest of the episodes will be live comp, thankfully now because we proved it on Pokemon White too. And well, let's see, Thwacky, Thwacky. Thwacky is getting a thwacked right here. And we're getting a speed boost. Yeah, buddy. And, well, here comes a th Razor Leaf. Now, the other thing, too, that I did off-screen was I did trade for some Pokemon. Or certain Pokemon off-screen. Uh, two of them being, uh, you know, the le this the starter Pokemon of this uh, of this region right here. Maybe I could say that I kind of want to finish up the Pokedex right here. But I always keep on saying that. But... 
I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna be creating teams in this walkthrough that way I can you know diversify and actually showcase it in different episodes and all that crud um, especially when we go into the Isle of Armor and the what was it the Crown Tundra right there yeah we're definitely gonna be seeing a lot of uh, interesting Pokemon especially some of our originals and all that stuff all right so here comes a tearful look what is that and that right there will lower our attack holy crud okay so let's go with a Dragon Claw it actually hit me where it hurt Okay, um, okay, you know what, we're gonna go boost up with the dragon, uh, dragon dance, and, well, hopefully we don't get confused right here, because that right there would, uh, would suck, but there it is, dragon dance, just to boost up our attack just a tad bit, and, well, let's see, speed, strength, and here we go, and here comes another water pulse, so yeah, we're not as fast as this Pokemon right here. And, well, here we go. Dragon Claw. Let's go finish this. And that actually does some more damage right here. So, we're going to take a risk. Dragon Claw versus that Dragon Pulse. Good. Or, Water Pulse. And just like that. Wow. Bone Saw. Seriously, bro. Okay. So, let's see. Let's go with Kiss. Now, another Pokemon that surprised me right here is Kiss. Our Zig or our, our Linoon and, uh, or Linoon or whatever the heck you call it yes it is a very very physical very powerful Pokemon um our you know the Galarian form is pretty awesome and well here we go seed bomb for the win and there we go drizzle has been defeated yeah it has been a serviceable Pokemon right here which it's kind of like it's kind of making me think that you know maybe I should be keeping this Pokemon onto the team because well you can learn a lot of moves a lot of moves, and well, after defeating this lady, she will give us nothing. Okay. Would have been nice for a present or something. Okay, so now that we're right here in this area, over at the dist, uh, over there, there, there yonder, or whatever you like to call it, there is a Pokemon daycare center right there, or, man, yeah, it's a daycare. And, uh, let's see, hold on. I'm looking all over, and I want to get some items right here. A jar of honey, and... Right here, you're going to be finding a lot of interesting Pokemon. And one key thing that you guys can actually keep an eye out for is the Digger Brothers right here into this area. Uh, they will actually find fossils, and they will find a whole bunch of uh, pretty cool stuff for you. One of them it has high endurance, and the other one doesn't. So, let's see. The digging up here. A bit of fun finding us here. Okay, spot us some wants, and we'll dig you some hard, handy treasures for your adventure. So... Let's see. So we're going to pay 500 watts. And Homeboy right here is going to find us a Fossilized Duel. And uh, just like that, he only finds us one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so he, he's only going to find us one Fossil right there. So let's go ahead and talk to this guy. And I guess this guy is probably the more experienced one. And he will have a little bit more stamina right there. We have a Heat Rock. Keep on going. And we found a Thunderstone. Shiny stone. Okay, damp rock. A normal gen. And iron ball. Okay, and that is pretty much it right there. Okay, so he has found us some pretty interesting stuff right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at... Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest items right here. So we got a normal gen. This right here will actually strengthen up any kind of normal type attack. And then we got the Damp Rock and Heat Rock, which will actually extend the duration of either Rain Dance or Sunday, a Sunny Day for a while longer. And, well, off screen, yes, I did get some, some stones while I was at it. So look at that. Got Sunstone, Moonstone, Firestone, and all that stuff. Hell, we even got a, an Ice Stone right here. So we will be seeing some evolutions here and there. And before we do anything, let's go right ahead. And heal up our Pokemon because, uh, yeah, good old Draven doesn't seem to like his fainted Pokemon. So let's go ahead and give that to Bonesaw and Super Potion for Blitzkrieg. And Bonesaw yet again. Alrighty, so let's move on ahead. What can we also find right here? We'll, yeah, we'll find some, we'll definitely find some cool, cool items right here. Cool Pokemon and all that crud. And, well, let's see, pretty flower, and I didn't mean to do that. And here we have the daycare. 
And we can actually buy some heal balls with this guy, so I'm actually going to buy five of those. You know me, I like to diversify with different kinds of uh, Pokeballs right here, and well, let's see. So this is the Pokemon Daycare, and you will be actually to actually able to evolve, or, or not evolve, but actually uh, breed some of your Pokemon in this area. And well, let's go right ahead and grab some tiny mushrooms. Remember guys, tiny mushrooms, big mushrooms, are basically like nuggets, plant version and all that stuff. You can actually get them every single day right around here. And wow, that guy, that zigzag boom just like popped up on me. So as you can see, we're in the stony wilderness, and right here you'll be able to find some more interesting Pokemon, and a lot of a lot more power spots right here. And I think I'm gonna show you guys the crud, not that, but this. Yes, I'm actually going to. Let's see. I'm actually going to show you one of the spots, and good gravy. So yeah, we can't... Yeah, we can't get away from this ninjas right here, because it's going to be using its speed against us. Alright, um... Let's go ahead and switch up our Pokemon right here. Let's go, not to Bone Saw, but to Bex. And... Let's go right ahead. Let's go right ahead and see what's up right here. Okay, so Absorb Attack... And that is not effective, but I I do believe we can actually escape right here. Probably, I don't even know. So let's go right ahead and see. Yes, we got away since we are stronger in all that crud, I think. Alright, so be careful for the Pokemon right here, but you will be able to get some more um, wattages right here. Now, one thing I learned off screen in Pokemon Shield while I was playing it was the advantages of weather Pokemon. Or not weather Pokemon, but finding Pokemon in certain types of weather. Um, yeah, <laughs> open up my eyes to the whole, the whole, the whole situation right there because it's like, wow, I never thought that, you know, like Pupitar or you know Droopy, Dreepy, whatever the fuck that name is. It's like, you know, okay, you can find them in a thunderstorm weather and all that stuff. So, let's see. Let's go straight to that spot right here where it's all pink or super pink and all that stuff. Everything else I will actually get later on, but as you can see, there are a lot more Pokemon right here. A little bit stronger than the usual ones, like Steelix right here is probably going to be in this level 60, so you probably want to need to avoid that. Uh, again, Pokedolls are right there just to buy, so you don't, yeah, you definitely don't want to mess with these evolved Pokemon until like after you've uh, won like maybe three more badges or so. And, well, let's see, let's go ahead and grab this. Obviously, I want to capture those Pokemon onto the the ocean, or not the ocean, but the lake right there, but that can't happen. And because of that, uh-oh, somebody's hatching. So, let's see what Pokemon we have gotten. It's probably a Pokemon that I wanted for quite some time, and would you look at that, guys. We got ourselves a Dreepy. Holy crud. Okay. All right, Dreepy. How's it going, buddy? So here it is, guys, Dreepy, the lingering Pokémon, both ghost and dragon type. One one uh 1 foot 8, 4.4 4. 4 pounds of pure Dreepiness. After being reborn as a ghost Pokémon, Dreepy wanders the areas it used to inhabit back when it was alive in prehistoric seas. Okay, so I need to think of a nickname. Never really thought of it, so I'll be right back with you guys on figuring up a good nickname for Dreepy. Okay, so here we are back, guys, and I think I figured out a good nickname. Um, uh, I don't know, it's kind of cheesy or something like that, but it's, it's actually fun right here, okay? So I bequeath this name right here for our Dreepy. We're going to be calling this Pokemon Dreepzilla. That's right, it's a pretty good nickname, okay? You guys don't like it, then oh well. All right, so Dreamzilla, Zilla, Zilla or Zilla, Godzilla, 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 Dreamzilla. Okay, we're just gonna be like that. Okay, so there it is, guys. Dreepy. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon right here. Dreepy, Dreepzilla. So here we have Dreepzilla. Level one, obviously, is a baby Pokemon, and it's a dragon and ghost type Pokemon. As you can see right here, it's, it's, a, it's ability is clear body, prevents other Pokemon moves from abilities from lowering its stats right there. And, well, we don't really have too big of attacks right now, but we did get it in a Link trade 
a while back. Well, yeah, we got we we basically got it uh, on the third of J July right here. Okay, so big thing. As I was talking about the whole uh, what was it weather based Pokemon. I actually looked up on where you can actually capture this Pokemon, and it turns out that you have to go all the way, uh, let's see, that way. And it has to be either foggy or stormy to actually find, to actually find, uh, what was it, Dreepy itself. And finding Dreepy itself is a 2% chance, and uh, <laughs> trust me guys, it is, it is a very, very, it's a big task just because, well, you got bigger Pokemon spawning up and... You might hit it or not, and it literally took me about, hmm, literally took me about like two hours. Yeah, no, not two hours, I, I lied. It literally took me like about an hour to actually find Dreepy. Now, the reason why you don't, you can't get it early on is because, well, you, its first evolution is at level 50, and then its final evolution is at level 60. By the time you can actually capture this Pokemon, it's already going to be at level 60. So you're just going to need two, uh, what was it called, uh, two rare candies to actually evolve it. But right here, you guys already know, Draven likes to use, uh, likes to do the hard work and all that stuff. He wants to see his Pokemon evolve and grow up uh, strong. Yeah, I decided, you know what, I need to capture Dreepy. I want to actually train it up and see what it, what it can actually do. Uh, like all 60 levels before it actually evolves and all that stuff so welcome to the team Dreepzilla and well let's go right up here and not get attacked by those guys and uh, let's go ahead and see what kind of Pokemon we can actually discover so when you see a light like that that usually means it's a very powerful and rare Pokemon and it looks like to me it's going to be a Hatina probably so I'm gonna go switch up my Pokemon, and the Pokemon I'm gonna choose is Kiss right here because it is a Dark type Pokemon. It is very physical, and I don't know why I pressed invite others. So let's go ahead and get ready to battle right here. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Now, righty then. What's up? I am here with the crew and. Here we have Holy Biscuits Hatrim, or Hatrim. Oh wow! And this is the evolution of Hatina right here. So it is a pretty slow Pokemon. Something I figured out in my last walkthrough. So let's go right ahead and uh, wow, schooling. <laughs> yeah, completely forgot about Wishy Washy. And believe it or not, oh yeah, Pokemon Blue Moon. I hope you guys enjoyed that too. I mean. It has been a while, and uh, well, let's go right ahead and uh, Gigantamax or Dynamax right here and use a dark type move. Again, I'm starting to like, or I'm actually really liking uh, Zigzagoon's Galarian form or Lanoon's Gal Galar or Galarian form because it's actually very, very strong right here. And look at that. Kiss is pretty big, looking pretty mean. And tongues looking pretty awesome and here comes a max mindstorm that right there is gonna hit Torkoal and uh, well there goes Torkoal holy crud okay I see what it is I see what it is it's because you know kiss it's a pretty awesome band right I'm pretty sure of it okay so there's one now remember if you faint four times or three times four times it is going to you know you are gonna be uh, pushed out of this game right here and as you can see we hit the hardest to hat trim right here, and well, its special defense has fallen. So, yeah, there's that feather dance, and that is going to lower its attack harshly. And wishy washy, bam, Aqua Tail doing uh, some damage right there. So let's go right ahead and keep it uh, keep it going right here. And from what it looks like, we're gonna use another Max uh, Darkness or something. And, okay, seriously, how in the heck did you survive that one? And we are lowering a special defense. And after a while, Hatrim is actually, uh, you know, bringing up some barrier right here. And crud baskets. Okay, so it nullified these stat changes in ability. And here comes a dazzling gleam, which actually hits us pretty hard. And because of that, how Lucha has fainted. Holy crud! Okay, this is annoying right here. Okay, so. We actually have to eliminate the shield, and after you... Oh, crud. Okay, so after you eliminate the shield, you can actually... Let's see. Schooling. Oh, yeah. 
Oh crud. So after you eliminate a Gigantamax po or shield, its uh, defense will go down uh, dramatically. So that will be an opening right there for you. So here has Tar or here's Torkoal. Let's try this one more time with Max uh, Darkness right here. And that right there. Holy crap, baskets. Okay. Okay, so that can't be good at all. Yeah. Okay, so... That's three feints right there. That's four. Holy crud. Okay, so... <laughs> yeah, we, we officially lost right there. So we are going to be kicked out of this whole situation. Good gravy. Okay, so you guys already know I'm not going to let this one go. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, so... We captured Hatrim. It was a while, and yeah, this Pokemon was brutal because I forgot that, uh, yeah, I forgot that Lanoon was weak to fairy, fairy type attacks. Yeah, go figure. So, as you can see, it is a three star Pokemon, so you're gonna be getting a little bit more right here with, you know, medium experience candies and large experience candies. But as you can see, you get some pretty good TRs right here, and, uh, well, yes, I'm actually liking this right here. And, well, look at that. Hatrim has been added to the Pokedex. As you can see, Hatrim is a serene Pokemon. No matter who you are, if you bring strong emotions near this Pokemon, it will silence you violently. So, uh, yeah, if you're angry or something like that, yeah, you don't want to mess with that Pokemon. Okay, so that is that for this part right here. And, well, we're, we're just going to be moving on right here, guys. We're not really going to be seeing a lot of this place because I, I'm pretty sure many of you guys already know, but... Here, let me, uh, let's see, hold on, let's talk to this guy, he is gonna give us something for a hundred, and yes, he gives us some experience candies right here, and, well, let's see, actually, there's an item right there, I need to grab that, tiny mushroom, so, let's go right ahead and take a look at where we can actually find, uh, our good old buddy, Dreepy, right here, so, the weather-based, weather-based Pokemon, or weather, you know, based captures, it, it it kind of eluded me when I was first playing this game right here because, well, yeah, you know, I just wanted to go straight to the game. Don't really pay attention a lot to, uh, oh, wow, <laughs> don't really pay attention a lot to, to everything else. I'm just an old school Pokemon trainer that doesn't really pay attention to some new mechanics and all that stuff, guys. Just, you know, probably because I don't really have a lot of time and all that crud, but look at this. We're getting leaks right here. So where you can capture Dreepy is right across this river into that section right there and like I said before guys the reason why we have to we get them so late is because of its evolution and you actually can get it at level 60 right over to that location and you can actually capture this Pokemon in the wild spots too I chose to just go get it over a shield version and all that stuff just so I can add it to my team and actually watch it grow right here and well let's see what do you sell a lot of heal balls. Okay. Don't need a lot of heal balls right here. Okay. So, that is pretty much it right there, guys. Um, like I said, I'm going to do... I'm going to do this whole area on the, like, uh, on the off-screen and all that stuff. I just wanted to show you guys where where we can actually do stuff. Um, kind of want to get to the next section of this whole, this whole walkthrough right here of Hammerlock. And, wow. Yeah, we're going to get attacked by a lot of these Pokemon right here. So, let's go right ahead get off our bike and well there is a there is an individual stopping us but before we do anything I'm looking at these guys all right what can you sell me I'm always on in the look for uh, new items right here and as you can see this guy actually sells some pretty good stuff I'm gonna come back to you a little bit later and well talk to him and he's gonna be like ah gym challenger allow me to check your gym badges the grass badge the water badge and the fire badge it's confirmed that you've defeated three gym leaders, including the leader at Motostoke. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. Really? Holy crud. It's Bead. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hop will be coming. <laughs> I completely forgot. Thank you, Bead, for beating uh, Hop. It's only natural. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way he could look, like a, uh, look at the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. Oh, so he did defeat him. <laughs> oh, suck it, Hop. Here, just look at the gym badges I've already won. 
Thank you, Challenger Bead. I can confirm you have uh, the required badges. Anyway, I'm a, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. Well, he's a little bit more pleasant than usual, I guess. Probably because he defeated Hop, and it, that just makes me happy. Okay, so let's go to uh, let's go to Hammerlock right here. And uh, well, let's see what we got. Let us see what we got. We got a whole bunch of routes, a whole bunch of stuff, and look at the view. Kind of looks like a dragon. Just a little bit. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Looking fantastic. Look at the city or town or whatever you like to call it, but it looks like a big old castle. I see a Pokeball there. That is going to be mine. You shall be mine. And that is a big dragon. Where is Rapunzel? Rapunzel, Rapunzel. I don't know. Okay. So, we're going to stop right here, guys. We're finally in Hammerlock. And in the next episode, we're going to be continuing our adventure straight forward to the chairman and all that stuff. Thank you guys again for being patient. Thank you guys for the birthday wishes, which I will probably see or something like that. And, uh, well, stay tuned. Another episode on our birthday marathon will be coming up shortly right here. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you guys next time.